It's the Winemakers on Sporting News, presented by Jack Daniels. Hey everybody, it's Green Bay heading to Houston to take on the Texans with Rick Heron and Rich Bacheleri. I'm Brian Blessing. Let's start with the number. How about this? Houston opened up five. It's down to three and a half. Total in the game's 48. Richie said he saw a few 47 and a halfs popping around out there. Just for starters, though, guys, go back five weeks. We knew Houston was going to be pretty good, but um, you know, seeing Green Bay getting more than a field goal anywhere is a little bit of a shock and jarring to the system. Wait a minute. Who's the favorite in this game? Yeah. Texans? Yeah. Game opens five. Are you kidding me? I know. Down to three and a half is the right move 100%. Yeah, I got some questions about what Rodgers is doing so far this year. Uh, you sacked four times in the second half. His picks have been in the second half. Ricky? Well, I think it's an offensive line problem with the Packers, and who would have ever thought the Packers were going to be two and three at this point? I, you know, we had the game in Seattle, but the Packers, however, are 4-0 against the spread. Their last four as a dog, and obviously we know they weren't really a dog last year very often. often. On the flip side of the coin, Texans 11-3 against the spread in their last 14 games. Matt Schaub, last nine games he started, 9-0 back to last year. So, I mean, great matchup, but the Texans coming off a short week, Brian, Monday, Texans, playing Monday night. Yeah, the Texans failed to cover for the first time on Monday night, and that's been a long-standing angle. A Monday night winner, the next week, they've tended to uh, struggle in that follow-up affair. But there's another big footnote here. Uh, Kenny White talked about how rare it is, other than a quarterback being uh, a really valuable play player in relation to the wagering line. Very rare is that the case on the defensive side of the ball. But Brian Cushing is one of those guys. He's worth a point and a half to the line, and he's gone for the year. A point and a half. I think Kenny's been drinking a little bit too much in this uh, spot. Guys Let me see. Five. That means a, a six and a half would be the opener. I don't know about that. Maybe but the five was with the play. And, <laughs> yeah. and you know what? That is actually a good point. It could have, could have seen some movement coming down with him out. Well, the announcement did come out. But, uh, on Monday? Yeah, uh, yeah, on Tuesday. What I what I do see here with the Texans team that I like is that they are balanced. Uh, Foster's phenomenal. He's probably the best best back in the league, and the, the other kid Tate's really good. So they don't have a drop off when he's on. Tough stretch and tough tough stretch for Houston. They get the Packers on Sunday. They get the Ravens next week. Uh, you said we're coming. They're coming off the the uh, Monday night game. Have a short week. You know, Cedric Benson's also out for the Packers for up to eight weeks. Probably going to be Alex Green taking his spot. They haven't been able to run run the ball. Packers did go 7-1 and one on the road last year. Uh, I think it's a spot where there might be a little bit of value taking the points with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Well, we're seeing the three and a half. The hook is out there. Do we see threes? Yes. Three's got to pop yes. up, don't they? Yes. I think you see it bounce back and forth. Yeah, you like Green Bay, take the three and a half. If you like Houston, lay the three. It's Green Bay at Houston. For the boys, I'm Brian. Thank you for joining us, the Line Makers on Sporting News.